Shalom brothers and sisters. So this article is exciting. The Passover offering reenactment. On Sunday, the Temple Institute participated in a multi-organizational reenactment of the Passover offering, an annual event that takes place every year on the eve of Passover. Led by Rabbis Israel Ariel and Azariah Ariel of the Temple Institute, Rabbi Baruch Kahana, Dean of the Temple Institute's Nezer HaKodesh School of Kohanim, the school of priests that they have trained, Rabbi Shmuel Moreno, Rabbi Uriel Shavor, and Rabbi Yitzhak Yabetz all participated in the ceremony with Jerusalem also Deputy Mayor Arye King and Councillor Yonatan Yusuf, as well as former Minister of Agriculture Uri Ariel. So big names and government represented. Hundreds of people attended the event, which took place in Jerusalem's old city, just hundreds of meters from the Temple Mount. The Kohanim of Netzer HaKodesh, clad in the priestly garments, led the reenactment of the Passover offering, which is intended to take place on Temple Mount on the 14th of Nisan, just hours before the onset of the Passover holiday. The reenactment included the kindling of the temple menorah, the burning of incense on the golden incense altar, the singing of the Hallel songs of praise, which accompanies the slaughtering of the Passover lambs, the slaughter itself, the dashing of the blood against the altar, and the bringing of the Amarim, portions that are forbidden to eat, to the altar. The slaughtered lamb was roasted, and olive-sized portions were distributed to members of the audience to be eaten at their Seder meals as a remembrance of the actual Korban Pesach, Passover offering. Photos I'm going to put on the community wall. So why is this exciting and important? Because they've done it. They've done their sacrifice. They've actually slaughtered a lamb. They've gone through the whole process, the whole ritual, as it's supposed to be performed as per the Word of God. They've done it. They've shown everyone now that they're ready. Their priests are ready. They've made no mistakes. They've done it the way they trained. They had their garments. They blew the trumpets. Check the photos on the community wall. They've prepared everything as per their preparation for this day. And why now, in 2023 Passover, when everything is lining up and everything in the world is converging so perfectly, just waiting for the bride to be removed, for the restrainer to be taken away, and for Daniel's 70th week, Jacob's trouble to begin. It's exciting. Keep looking up and keep listening. When you see the pictures of them blowing their trumpets, know that soon you will be hearing the blowing of the actual trumpet that we're waiting on. God bless. Have an amazing day. Shalom.